Hey guys, my name is Jana. I'm a diehard traveler and a free spirit. I've been on the greatest adventure called life. And in the last five years, I've traveled to over 50 countries on five continents. I've encountered tons of various situations from interrogations at the Costa Rican border to finding the best airfare from Alaska to Costa Rica. Now, traveling in a foreign language can be tricky. So imagine you made an online reservation for an ocean view room, hoping that when you exit your room, you'll walk out in front of the ocean. But when you get to the hotel, you just see a little bit of the ocean from your room. So you need to explain to the receptionist or to the manager that you want an ocean front room. You feel the difference? Imagine another situation. You're at Customs and Immigration Control, crossing the United States border, and an immigration officer asks you, what do you do for a living? You might get confused. What does he mean by that? It's actually one of the most common phrases to ask you, how can you afford this trip? What is your work that makes you have the money to travel? Here's one of my favorites. Imagine you're on board the airplane and a really hot surfer type of guy sits next to you. You want to strike up a conversation with him and you ask him where you're from. And he responds to you, I'm from the down under. And you get confused from down under where? What is he talking about? Well, down under is actually the slang for Australia because Australia is down under the equator. What if further in your conversation, um, he tells you, I'm having reservations. Clearly, you would think it has something to do with a booking or a confirmation for a hotel or flight. But really, what he means is he's doubtful about something. So there's a difference between having reservations and making a reservation. Feel that? And one last thing. Clearly, it's a no-brainer that you need your passport to travel. So go get it. See you next time. Bye.